If you're an almond lover, these are the cookies for you. My almond cookies are melt in your mouth, delicious and beyond easy. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. These almond cookies will be ready in a snap, so let's get started. First off, let's sift the dry ingredients. So one cup, 120 grams of all-purpose flour. Oh my gosh, that was just enough. 122 grams, I'll take it. Thank you. Half a cup of almond flour, a tablespoon of cornstarch, half a teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder. Just a little bit of leavening. All right, sift this out. Almond meal always bills itself. <laughs> it's always to its own horn saying it's extra fine or whatever, but it's full of lumps, so don't believe it. You have to sift it. And this cookie is not the biggest deal in the world, but if you're making something like a macaron, which you can click up here for, um, it's the most important thing. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Say goodbye to your scale, and then whisk, 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 and set aside. Now it's time to cream our butter, do the sugar thing, you know the drill. Into your stand mixer, fitted with a paddle attachment, you're gonna add 10 tablespoons or 142 grams of unsalted butter. Let's just cream it up for a moment, just to get started. While it's going, one teaspoon or five ml of almond extract. If you don't have almond extract in your pantry, run and get it immediately if you can. So good, I love the smell. Now we're gonna add the confectioner sugar. To be specific, half a cup plus three tablespoons. I'm sorry for the awkward measurement, but sometimes you recipe test and you're like, it needs just a little bit more, but not that much more. So three tablespoons. And yes, that first tablespoon was heaping, but that half cup was not. It was a little underfilled. How much? All right, put this in. And let's just mix it until it's nice and light and creamy, fluffy, amazing. Okay, so you're like, oh my gosh, this buttercream tastes amazing, but it's actually the base for your cookie. Scrape the bowl down just once, I've said it once and I'll say it again, you want a homogenous mixture for your cookies. Every cookie should be delicious and, you know, have the right consistency. If there's too much butter, it's gonna be like a melted pool of butter instead of a cookie. Okay. After your butter's been creamed up and it's nice and light and kind of fluffy, you're gonna add in the dry mixture. So just dump it right in, mix it on low, and you're gonna mix it until just combined. So keep an eye on it. This is like a batch of cookies that you will inhale with your family just in a few moments. So if you wanna double the recipe, feel free. If you wanna quadruple it, go ahead. Um, you can always store the dough in the freezer for like two months or in the fridge for a couple days and just bake it off as you'd like. Scrape, scrape, scrape. I actually have the scraping paddle attachment, but it will not be used. And if you watch the channel, you know why. <laughs> Okay, this batter is basically mixed. I'm gonna finish it off just a little bit by hand because there is some unmixed nonsense on the bottom. And even after mixing it all together, it's gonna seem like a crumbly mess. You're gonna be like, what is going on here? However, much like a shortbread, it's going to come together when it chills. So do not bake it now. It needs its chill time. Very, very important. Before it goes into the fridge, just tamp it down a bit. Tamp, tamp, tamp. And now cover and chill for at least 30 minutes. I think an hour is best. Um, if you wanna chill it overnight, go ahead, but it's gonna be real hard <laughs> to scoop later on. So just be forewarned, it'll still bake, but the scooping will take some more energy. All right, into the fridge. When your dough's almost done chilling, set that oven to 400 Fahrenheit, and then let's get to scooping. So pop that cover off. So scoop out about two tablespoons. I like to paw it together with my clean hands. And then just place it down and press it in. So we're going to end up with like a circular disc. And they will spread out in the oven. What I'm doing is basically just warming this up ever so slightly so it becomes more pliable before I roll it and press it into my little discus shape. The last step before they go into the oven is totally optional, but I like to press two almond slivers, like a little heart shape, right onto the cookie. And they'll bake in, so you don't need to press too hard. These so are going into the oven, 400 degrees for just about eight minutes. Keep an eye on them because every oven is different. In you go. My first batch of cookies is out of the oven, so let's make a really, really quick glaze. Three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of water, in you go. One teaspoon of almond extract. 
Got to tell you, almond is one of my favorite glazes to make too. It's something about it, the almond that is just really great. It's going to look like junk until it mixes up properly. It kind of just comes together. If it's not coming together, you can go ahead and add in like an extra teaspoon of water. See, that's almost there. One added teaspoon, in you go. Now we have a nice drizzling consistency for my cookies. All we have to do is drizzle this on hither and thither and they'll be done. My first batch is cool enough to touch, so let's just group them together in a little mass and then get to drizzling. Nice and casual, nothing fancy. If you wanted to use a piping bag, you totally could, but I don't think a drizzle needs it. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, you could use a piping bag. I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> These cookies are calling my name, but before I take a bite, if you like this recipe, check out my cookie playlist. Basically every cookie you could imagine all in one playlist for you. Now it's time for a bite. Mm. That is so nice. Crisp, melts in your mouth, and that glaze, amazing. I hope you get a chance to make this recipe. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next cookie video.